Assalamu alaikum doctors in this video I am discussing about uh, facial nerve palsy so facial nerve palsy there is a dropping of the mouth inability to close the eye okay um, then uh, this is a lower motor neuron lesion because the um, it is affect the upper part of the um, face remember upper motor neuron lesion upper spare upper so if the child is um, close the eye then it is upper motor neuron lesion it is lower motor neuron lesion because the child is unable to inability to close the eye so, uh, so description is that when it is one of the famous uh, the most famous video stations so description is that when smiling the mouth deviated to the left side loss of the nasolabial fold and uh, right sided there is inability to close the right eye okay so it is a case of uh, right uh, our case is the picture is showing that it is a left sided facial nerve palsy uh, the causes of dd we can tell that idiopathic bell's palsy trauma tumor parotid tumor leukemia acoustic neuroma viral infections like herpes varicella zoster um, hiv otitis media lyme disease if uh, it is upper motor neuron lesion the causes could be tumor trauma any causes of intracranial pressure stroke infections and mobius cp so dd what we keep first of all any tumor any trauma uh, viral infection like herpes simplex virus, herpes joster virus, Epstein Barr virus. Uh, it can be um, uh, it can be like um, any Lyme disease, idiopathic Bell's palsy, idiopathic Bell's palsy. So remember, idiopathic Bell's palsy is the first. The upper motor neuron lesion if the cerebral palsy child, uh, viral HIV also causes Mobius syndrome, then stroke, infections, tumor trauma. Uh, bilateral facial nerve palsy we find Guillain Barre syndrome and Mobius. So, what history I would like to ask? Onset course and durations. Precipitated by any trauma. History of any rash. Otitis media, mumps, herpes, juster, infection of the ear, upper respiratory tract infection. Associated with any CNS problem like limb weakness, sign of intracranial pressure. History of travel, any history of sick contact. History of any chronic illness like sickle cell anemia, hemophilia. Hyperacusis, decreased lacrimation and altered state, taste. So, what history will ask? Onset course and durations. History of any viral infections. History of any trauma. Um, any weight loss, increased intracranial pressure signs, any uh, abnormality of working pattern, uh, what about eye, eye pain, um, any lacrimations, uh, in relative to eye movement, is there any mumps, otitis media, ear infection repeated. Um, uh, the, uh, these are the features we um, ask. Any traveling history as Lyme disease, one of the DD, any chronic illness like sickle cell anemia, hemophilia, consciousness status uh, we'll ask. Then what do you want to examine? So I would like to examine the vital signs, especially the blood pressure, anthropometric measurement, complete the CNS examination, including the cranial nerve examination, eye examination, ear examination, lymph node examination, abdominal examination to rule out any malignancy. So what examination will do? So vital, especially the blood pressure, anthropometric measurements, fully the neurology examination with the cranial nerve examinations, eye examination, ENT examination, abdomen examination to rule out the malignancy. Then investigation normally idiopathic Bell's palsy there is no investigation needed history and examination are unremar unremarkable other than that investigation of the causes we can do like serology test for Lyme disease full blood count brain CT or MR if there are other symptoms how can we manage this patient first of all Bell's palsy treats by um, treated by GP if secondary refer to neurology we can do the eye care eye patch and carbomar ointment steroid in the first seven to two hour for five to seven days after discussions. Uh, if herpes give uh, cyclovir oral follow up after four weeks if no improvement refer for MRI which focus on brain stem if any neurological signs of symptoms consider early immediate imaging and follow up monthly till recovery okay so um, management is uh, false uh, it is if it is idiopathic or Bell's palsy it is management by the GP we give the eye care eye ointment um, eye covering um, steroid we can give within first 72 hours then if uh, we suspecting there is a um, herpes simplex virus, then oral cyclovir we can do. If it is more than one month, it is not improving. We refer to the um, uh, neurology for MRI brain. And if any neurological signs symptoms uh, early we find, then also we do the brain MRI. And uh, follow up monthly. Normally recurrence occur immunodeficiency HIV. Multidisciplinary team, we are involving ophthalmologist for good care of the eye and prevent the corneal involvement, physiotherapy and the neurologist. So what is the difference between upper and lower motor neuron lesion? Upper spares the eye and can close eye. So this is one line is telling. Upper is spared the eye, can close the eye, contralateral side of brain lesion and can raise his eyebrow. 
Lower motor neuron lesions are unable to whistle, mouth deviations, loss of nasolabial fold, hyperacusis, metallic taste, reduced lacrimation. Look, our pictures. All the features are lower motor neuron lesion. Both are involved in upper and lower face. Same side of the brain lesion cannot elevate the eyebrow. Loss of wrinkle of the forehead. So this is all about the facial nerve palsy. The DD again I am telling. First of all, idiopathic or Bell's palsy. It can be any tumor, trauma like parotid tumor. It can be any malignancy. It can be leukemia. Uh, then viral cause like herpes simplex virus. It can be uh, varicella zoster virus, HIV, uh, Lyme disease. It can be and Mobius syndrome, cerebral palsy any chronic conditions, immunodeficiency, gullian barry syndrome. So this is all about this. Mainly idiopathic or Bell's palsy is the, our top. Thank you very much.